All right, so let's start with the big story that we're tracking on Vyond this hour. With Russian bounty reports from Afghanistan have kicked up a political storm in the United States. The White House continues to defend Donald Trump over his alleged inaction, but there is now a growing bipartisan call to take some strong action against Russia. The Democrat nominee Joe Biden has described Trump's response as a dereliction of duty on behalf of the president. He has said that the president must answer the questions that are being raised by veterans and also the family members of the American soldiers who have been deployed abroad. What are those parents thinking out there? What are those sons and daughters, husbands and wives? It's an absolute dereliction of duty. If every, any of this is even remotely true. So I think the president has a lot to answer for and should get the answers quickly. Quickly. But the White House maintains that Donald Trump was never briefed on the bounty reports, but the New York Times has quoted multiple officials who have confirmed that the incident was part of the president's daily briefing in the month of February. This has reinforced earlier reports by the likes of John Bolton that Trump often does not listen to his intelligence briefings. The fact is the president doesn't much like being briefed. He thinks he knows what he needs, needs to know. Uh, that's wrong. I mean, that's just wrong. This, the presidency is a hard job. It requires somebody who's willing to work hard, learn things that he or she doesn't learn. No president comes in with 360-degree knowledge. That, that's for sure. Needless to say that the White House has trashed these reports. Press Secretary Kayleigh McEnany has said that Donald Trump doesn't read his intelligence briefings. She also went on to call Trump the most informed man on earth when it comes to the threats that the United States faces. The president does read, and he also consumes intelligence verbally. This president, I'll tell you, is the most informed person on planet Earth when it comes to the threats that we face. You have Ambassador O'Brien, who sees him in person twice a day, who sometimes takes the upwards of half a dozen calls with this president. He's constantly being informed and briefed on intelligence matters. All right, so that is some description of a president as the most informed person on planet Earth. Now, the White House has also confirmed that Trump was briefed on the bounty reports in the last couple of days after the news was broken by the American media houses. The U.S. congressional leadership was also briefed on this issue. Both Democrats and Republicans are now calling for some strong sanctions against Russia. The Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell has said that he was unable to verify the bounty reports, but he said that he wouldn't be surprised if they were true. It's no secret the Russians are up to no good. They have been throughout Putin's tenure. Various administrations have tried to warm up to Putin. It's clear that he's not somebody you can warm up to. Uh, I can't verify the current uh, rumors that all of you are writing about. But would I be surprised if the Russians were doing something like this? Absolutely.